rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. Um, yeah, please, we party down. Well, I gotta get going. Thanks to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. All oh, to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me yeah, you'd think so. Party. See ya. Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. I'll think about it. To unwind. Check out the strip. I'll think on it. Just in case, please allow me to provide you with credits for the purchase of any party supplies, Commander. Huh, thanks, Cole. Okay, Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. Hmm. Wait, wait, I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah. yeah. So there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right. But uh, if and when I decide to have a party, I invite the rest. Yeah. Cortez just invited James. So... Right. No promises. I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check oh, yeah. your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Um, let's make it energetic. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will mm -hmm. also modify my appearance to be more festive. Sure. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Oh, God. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, but I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me party. Vega. That's a little lame. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. You ever get a tattoo while you're sober? You ever get a woman who's not drunk? Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. God damn. Thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. 
Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? What? There's an idea. Wait. The f what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Kasumi. Not okay, Kasumi. But Get out of here. Commander Shepard back. And after taking down yep. the collectors, I cut <clears throat> ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. All right. Up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Um, for correction, not the best icebreaker. Yeah. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? Psych, I don't care what you think. So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Oh. The gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and 
Natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. All right, guys. So who's stronger, <coughs> you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. <laughs> oh. Um. Alright. Now the party's starting. Nope. Nope. Another time, guys. Stop that. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. Get me two. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Don't. Don't break my stuff, please. What kind of music is this? That's nah, not that club crap, is it? I don't know. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. That's what I'm talking about. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. <laughs> Something called the Kasumi. Yes, appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? No. Let's get louder. The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. What? Break it down. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not yeah. Really. No. Surely it'd be some celebrities or something. No. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Um, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No. Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. Hey, welcome. I've had lots to drink. And look at me. Still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I no. make sure that dream comes true. Um please don't do that. I could stop bullets with my mind. Right. You guys. I love you guys. No no, listen, okay. No no really. Okay. Oh. Okay. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. Uh, I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locked. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Dr. Chuck. Shh, no worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. 
A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. I mean, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Yeah. The range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? No, oh, mesh with Cortez on this one. Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. Hey, they totally proved my point. If I would fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. Cortez, you're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Um, the fuck? never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. We do. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Mm-hmm. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. Hi there. They say it's in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Savant? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the. Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh yeah? Here we go, shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? Tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. I brought my own bats, bro. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. That's not even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. Unless you want to give up? That's all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am so uh, no. I will join you. Have fun. No, Try not to don't. Kill the neighbors. Guys, don't do that. Give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. Yeah, I think we're done here. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. 
Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Jack, Miranda's still weak from fighting Kai Lang. It wouldn't be fair for you to fight her right now. That's ridiculous. Don't worry. I won't hurt anything but her pride. And maybe her ass. And Miranda, I know you've got tech attacks that could take Jack down in seconds, but I'm trusting you to be better than that. Oh, really? Really? The truth hurts. Need some time alone with your feelings. Your ass is gonna need some time alone with its feelings. I don't get that. But I'm going somewhere dirty. Not helping, Kasumi. It must be hard being a baron stuck in a boy's body. Gene freaked cheerleader. Child. Okay. Nice talk. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Wow. Kinda makes me tear up a little. Kinda makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Oh boy. Find someone else. No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about uh, when you <clears throat> said something about the Normandy's drive core. Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. She does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? It's all true. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, dude? I am asking a specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, Pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostics suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herbed dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Did I forget to scam the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. 
Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics, we can, we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No! No, 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 you can't even, no! Oh, okay, sure, send it my way. Oh. Absolutely, biotics are impressive, I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. I mean it. Check me out. Is there more to your argument? Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You going there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> Ugh, goddess. Yeah, I'm sorry, James. Um, I'm gonna have to swap biotics. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah. yeah I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Here's the thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. I'm gonna hit you so hard your ears pop. Hmm, someone's cranky. You must be tired from all the adults talking. You're gonna be drinking through a straw. Which is good. Your ass is getting too big. Yes, that happens when a woman reaches puberty. Oh, um, nice one. Does it? That was the boobs. Okay. <coughs> You're the expert. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Um, let's dance. Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? <laughs> it's gonna take a lot more than a Do you want to dance with me? I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. All right. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Come on, Joker. Gotta dance for you, girl. Joker. No. Come on. Come on. No. Yes. Really? Oh, fine. There you go. Show some moves. Oh, what, what the, the fuck? Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged veteran. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. What are you guys doing? What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah. Um. I see that. It's okay. We're all professionals here. Right. With no depth perception, but it's fine. No worries. This happens at all the parties all the time. And yet I'm still not comfortable. Probably best I walk away. As you wish. Yeah. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes. You and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Hey guys, mind if I cut in? Three, two, one. Mm, 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 mm. Excuse me? Oh, hey, Chef. What the fuck are you doing? You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Yeah, uh, thanks. Glad you could make it. It's Ellen underwear. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. Yep. All right then. All right then. <clears throat> okay. Could not. Could you? You've seen bionic simulation. 
I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? What a guy. Buckle up, brother. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I could feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kind of. Among other things. Looks good on you. Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Okay. <clears throat> Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Susan. Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Um. Perfect for what? Hey, Shepard. All right. Oh, Grunt, you all right? Grunt, you okay? What? Yeah, I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! <laughs> say Fuzzy Pickles. Oh, yeah. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. Sure. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. All right, Rex. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. <coughs> Wild time. Yeah. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Say that again. Sure, sure. Yeah, I understand. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Sure was. I've managed not to throw up. I'm pretty good about that. Hey. Well, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Okay. We'll try not to talk loudly, Joker. Is this good? Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just <coughs> quiet thoughts. Is this good, Joker? You like that? Maybe not. Uh, still fun, though. Yeah. Commander. Yeah. Com <laughs> Commander. Right there. Shepard. Good to see you out. Hope I didn't wake you. Phrasing. My snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. And was that before you got shot in the head or after? By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's right. some of that dextro shit in the freezer. 
So like vegan bacon? Mm. Shepherd. Yeah. Uh, morning, Shepherd. Hope you slept well. Um. Okay, I'm just not gonna talk to you. <laughs> Creep. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Uh. That was a joke. Right. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. 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 Let's get some breakfast. Hey, how you doing, James? Okay, who wants eggs? They are. Eggs. Um. Trainer. Esteban. They're not. Eggs? They're not really moving. Where is that guy? Rex. Buddy. Eggs. Tally. Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javi. Man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. I want some eggs. Shepherd. Eggs. Yes. Shepherd. Shepherd. Say that again. Shepherd. Shepherd. One more time. Shepherd. Shepherd. All right, Miranda. Morning, Shepherd. Yep. I had a lovely time last night. Yeah, yeah. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm. Good tea. <laughs> Would you say it was koala tea? Tea? Uh. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. What would you What you think about my joke, Miranda? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, perfect. I think I broke my head on something last night. Yeah, it was probably the shower head. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Did you headbutt my shower head? Shepard. Yep. Um, anyone here? Oh, trainer. Alright. I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. Um, you might tell me what last part you imagined. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Hmm. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Right. It's my fault. I was overserved. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. How's it going? All right. Let's see who's in uh, over yonder. Of course. Shepherd. Hey. <sighs> no, leave it to it, man. I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? Yeah, just fine. Thousand eighty-five. Thousand eighty-six. Thousand eighty-seven. Shepard. Hey, you look like shit. <sighs> Thanks. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Yeah? Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. 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 Good morning, partner. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hey. Guten Tag. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. 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 Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? Hmm. I'm guessing they're not. Yeah, highly doubt that. Bring everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. 
back to the Normandy as soon as possible. Well, bang, okay. Probably. Probably. You may be right. Hmm. Whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> yeah. It sure has been the best.